details that make life meaningful and enjoyable. Almost all people are in admiration for certain beauties of life and have a purpose. Some people look at life human oriented. For them, what makes life perfect is family and spirituality. Without family and sacred values, life would be completely empty. It is just a matter of time and living is completely meaningless. But the people living in Greenland are in a struggle against the harshest living conditions in the world and they are holding on tightly to life, so much so that it is the coldest living center in the north of the world. It is full of difficulties that can make a person tired of life. It is a place that will make you be thankful for the geography you live in. The planet is the largest island in the world, Greenland. Whose name you have heard so far, Greenland is a huge ice-covered island located at the extreme points of the world. Its surface area is exactly 2,166,000 square kilometers. But the lands of this huge country, which is equivalent to three Turkish lands, are largely unsuitable. More than 80 of them are covered with ice and cold enough to freeze the blood of the people living there. Greenland is located in the north of the Atlantic Ocean and, in fact, it is not a completely independent country. The country has an autonomous structure and is loyal to the Danish Kingdom, so much so that the people of Greenland carry great traces of Danish culture. The capital and largest city of the country is Noa. The population in the capital is only about 20,000 people. And in the whole of Greenland, about 60,000 people are trying to hold on to life. So, how do you think these people came to this island? which is covered with ice and has no connection with the land about 1200 years ago. Norwegian and Icelandic sailors discovered Greenland until now. Greenland was never known by Europeans, even though it was extremely cold. They were convinced that it was a place to take shelter in case of need and also to become a trading point afterwards. Many people were moved to Greenland by Norwegian and Danish sailors, even at that time. The population of Greenland reached 1,000 people and then trade colonies began to be established. And the Scandinavians tried to develop trade and agriculture. But they were not successful in the long run, in fact, contrary to popular belief. The main reason why life in Greenland could not become permanent and therefore the population did not increase was not the cold weather. The animals brought to Greenland by the Vikings perished one by one due to drought. Its structure was so inefficient that no matter what the farmers did, they could not grow productive grass and trees. Agriculture became impossible due to drought, forcing the Scandinavians to migrate back from Greenland. Only a few of them continued to stay in Greenland for trade purposes. What makes the origin of life in Greenland really attractive is that of the ancient Mongols. Inuit people came and settled in Greenland on foot during the Ice Age thousands of years ago. They did not discover these lands much later, like the Scandinavian sailors. There was a land connection in ancient times, when Greenland did not yet have a name, and the ancient Mongols chose to live in these lands at that time. This minimal number of people living in Greenland is not the same as the Scandinavians who came here for trade hundreds of years ago. The Scandinavians are the children of the Inuit people. Thousands of years ago, they came to these lands in the summer months and saw that this place was mostly green at that time. And then they called it Greenland. They are still called by the same name by foreigners today. In the 20th century, the Greenlander community was also given the privilege of the European Union, but the country left the European Union with a referendum in 1981. Because the European Union was restricting Greenland's fishing, which was the main source of income for the Greenlandic people and which they exported to the whole world. It was interfering with the fish reserves of and the fact that the country had 35% of the world's uranium and iron reserves whetted the appetite of the European Union in a way. The European Union countries would continue to be Greenland through membership. And for this reason, Greenland chose to leave its membership and go its own way still today. They are accountable to Denmark, but they make most of the large scale decisions on their own. It seems impossible for them to survive without Denmark anyway. Denmark spends a budget of nearly $1 billion every year to ensure the continuation of life in 
Greenland. Because Greenland is Denmark's property and the whole world accepts this, in fact, in recent years. The President of the United States did not approve the sale of the locals. The Greenland island is brought to the agenda from time to time by China, Russia and America, because there are tons of uranium and iron waiting to be mined under the island. Not to mention that they have the largest fish reserves in the world. If a person living in Greenland today is in Denmark, if he wants to get education or get health benefits, the Danish state covers all his. There are tons of uranium and iron waiting to be mined under the island. Not to mention that they have the largest fish reserves in the world. If a person living in Greenland today is in Denmark, if he wants to get education or get health benefits, the Danish state covers all his expenses. Also, you do not have a chance to buy land in Greenland. That is, a person cannot buy land from Greenland. If he wants to build a house or a shop in an area, he can get permission from the state and pay the taxes. Therefore, you do not have the chance to own land in Greenland. Most of the houses built in the capital Norwegian are state-supported structures, and most of the houses are colourful. You can buy these houses and their prices around $350,000 on average on server. Hand, Greenland is like a rock as hard as frozen with ice and undoubtedly it does not appeal to everyone. But if you give the country a chance, you will realize that there are magnificent details to be discovered in the country. You can see that green comes to life even in a land covered with ice, for example, or you will encounter a clean environment with plenty of oxygen. With tear in the sky is not produced by car exhausts and factory fumes, and most importantly, people are always smiling and strange. They are somehow happy, they have a world full of polar bears, seals and whales. Almost everyone knows each other and no one is hostile to each other. They have no political obsessions or are not enemies of nature. They love people and support each other. Both the Eskimos and the Scandinavians are the real owners of these lands and they are united in Greenlandic lands. That's why you cannot see any signs of evil. Being a family is the most important element for survival. No one lives alone easily in Greenland. Because life there is impossible for living alone and people have to keep their families together in order to survive because they have only one major goal as humans and that is to fight the cold if their only biggest fear is to survive and survive. The glaciers around their land will melt and disappear. Greenland really lives in need of the mercy of nature, so much so that the melting of the glaciers will first bring about their end, and then they will prepare for our end. The rise in the water level in the world will undoubtedly evoke doomsday scenarios. For the lands on land, they do not experience disasters from time to time, tsunamis coming suddenly from the sea can destroy the boats of the sailors in Greenland. They have to understand the language of nature and always have to keep their eyes open. In the slightest gap, they and their boats can be dragged into the icy sea because the ocean is no joke. Even the capital no is alive in terms of tastes. It is extremely inadequate in terms of health system and transportation. And what is worse, you do not have the chance to get a service from another country in a short time that you cannot reach within the country because you live on an island that is abstract from billions of people in the world. When you go there, you feel like you have found a settlement on the moon, as if you have no connection with the world. For this reason, Greenland is a country where many opportunities are inadequate and the scope of access is quite low. Another problem related to the country is the marriage problem. Since the population is very low, people cannot find a spouse for themselves in Browland. People who cannot find a spouse apply to the administrator of the region and ask them to find a spouse for themselves if the spouse of a married person dies. They are expected to marry someone else and have children in order to prevent the population from falling even further. In fact, in some families, a woman may have three to four husbands. People feel obliged to do so because they only desire to reproduce and survive. Because the more they get in number, the harder life is for the surviving person. Another problem of Greenland is that since there is no infrastructure system in the country, 
garbage dumps have been established in the remote areas of the country and all human waste is collected in these areas. It is difficult for Greenland to turn into a garbage dump in the short term, but in the long term. Large garbage accumulations may occur in Greenlandic lands in most parts of the country. There is no such thing, there is no internet connection in the capital city. But the fee is 1300 Danish krona. This corresponds to $190 moreover. The internet speed is quite low, so what kind of transportation do these people living on the coldest island in the world have? If you go to Greenland, there are not many motorcycles and car style vehicles there. You can see that it is not common. There are only a few visible vehicles in the capital city. Transportation in the village areas is done with sleds. Because especially in the winter months, the temperature can drop to 50 degrees and in these weather conditions, motor vehicles cannot operate and break down. Since the industry in the country is so primitive, the repair of these vehicles requires great effort and saves money, therefore, people use Siberian Huskies, which they call Huskies, to carry their goods or reach from one place to another. They tie the Huskies to sleds and provide transportation with them. If someone from the village wants to be taken to the hospital, they have to request a helicopter. Moreover, if 4,000 people live in a village, there are more than 3,000 in that village. There are lion living in Africa. People use these wolves not only for transportation, but also to find the traces of the animals. They want to hunt, since they feed the wolves with raw meat. They are extremely aggressive and not very friendly to anyone other than their owners. F. You leave them hungry. They may band together and even want to eat you, therefore. Wolves and people there is an agreement between them where mutual benefit is seen. It is an agreement made for survival rather than mutual love, aside from these technological possibilities. Neither fruits nor vegetables grow properly in the country at this point. The biggest thing that keeps people alive is to hunt animals. They go to sea by boat and kill polar bears. With the help of rifles, they hunt seals, then they skin these animals and take their meat. Thus, they solve their hunger problems and make clothes from their skins. To protect themselves from the cold, maybe this may seem brutal and inhumane to many of you. Maybe they are extincting the animals in this way, but no country can feed a person whose homeland is here for free for this reason. They have to survive and hunt on their own. Those who do not have a boat try to break the ice sheets in the frozen rivers and catch fish with their own efforts. If they fail, it means they will stay. They need to carve the bottom of the ice layer with the cutting sticks they have in their hands. This requires muscle strength. When they reach the water, they dip the net they made themselves into the water. They wait most of the time. They reach their goal and set them on their way home. If people have good brains, they eat everything that comes out of the sea. To explain the meaning of this sentence with examples, you may come across the fact that they eat seals in any house. All the heads of polar bears in a restaurant. In Greenland, they even eat gold as a wedding gift or money is not a problem here. People give polar bear heads as gifts to those they deem valuable. Hunting a polar bear is difficult and requires effort. Its meat cannot be easily accessed by almost everyone and is extremely expensive in restaurants. Therefore, polar bears are more valuable than gold in Greenland. If you are a guest at a family's house in Kraland, even whale meat can be placed in front of you. So to speak, it eats the meat of everything except human meat. Greenland always has a meat knife in one hand while eating with the help of this knife. They separate the meat from the bone and swallow it. Eskimos do this mostly. Scandinavian families live according to the culture they received from Denmark. Greenland is such a big it has an area of area and appeals to such a small community of people that you become happy to see people in the country. There are six settlements together with the capital Nuuk and only 300 people live in one of these settlements. The only services that these 300 people can access are grocery stores and churches, for example, he has a chronic disease and lives here. Living person will probably not be able to survive for a long time. So, how long can you tolerate this life form? There are no cars, no flowers, no insects. 
No phones, no entertainment centers. There are only isolated, deserted lands and a vast sea covered with ice in the winter, months. Sometimes there is no sun. There is no sunrise and your day is spent mostly in the dark. Some days there are snowstorms and if you are outside at that moment, you have nowhere to run. Those caught in the snowstorm suffer from serious illnesses and may not be able to stand up for months. Greenland is a country. We would be happy if you like our video and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.